Hey everyone, it's Mindy from the OG Sports Network. Hey, thank you for watching. Uh, please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Click on the bell to get the latest notifications. Also, make sure you give me your comments. I love to see what you guys are on and what you have to say. Uh, but hopefully you guys had a great evening. I did. There's lots of uh, sports here on the board today. We got some Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL, and that NIT championship. So a lot to keep you busy this evening. Uh, but we had some hot cappers here at OG yesterday. So let's go ahead and take a look at our multi-capper site. So if you are having any trouble at all right now finding your way through the picks, I know some great pickers out there for you. You can see guys like CJ and Steve and Tiffany and Scott and Jerry uh, rounding out the top five here for us today. And then over the last seven days, it's CJ again leading the way with Ron, Jerry, Mark, and Tim. Uh, so some fine work being done at the OGCappers.com site. Uh, just remember that all of our games are graded by a third party. Also, you guys, if you go ahead and pick up any of our pick packages from your favorite capper, all of those pick packages are profit guaranteed, meaning that if they don't turn a profit, you get credits back to your account. So we want to make sure that everyone has a good experience here at OG Cappers. And then also exclusive to you guys is not this one. Well, but you do see that these are our best bets here every day. But you can use the promo code OG20 to save you 20% at checkout. So this is exclusive to all of you guys that watch us here on social media. So we favor you guys for all of your viewership. All right. And you guys, I suppose, are here for these NHL plays today. Uh, nine of them. If you're not familiar with how this show works, what it is is I have an NHL model. I then compare that model to opening lines of Vegas. And then I know, right, from keeping track over the 1,100 times three NHL plays this season, uh, I know where we fall, right? I know how often we win or lose in categories. And I'm going to pause for a second. I have to sit. <laughs> All right, I think I'm back. Nope, maybe not. All right, so I know how they fit into the mix, right, regarding variance and odds. So I can give you that confidence level. I'll give you the very best out there. And then, of course, a final score prediction. So if I'm on a side, you can still go ahead and take a look at the total or use them for team totals as well. Well, let's go ahead and get started here on the free picks. Ah, and of course, the first one here is our text play of the day. Uh, you guys, we've been on fire on the text plays, so make sure you get in. Uh, I think we've won about our last, like, 7 of 10-ish. Uh, so this is our second highest rated game on the board, coming in at 72.7%. So all you got to do, it's real easy if you want this one, is go ahead and text the word WIN, W-I-N, to 223-203-1821. So just a little service to you guys to give you some good picks to have them in your back pocket there every day because I realize you guys probably can't watch a show uh, every day. Uh, I mean, I hope that you do, of course, but I know that you probably can't. Uh, but yeah, all you got to do, text the word WIN, W-I-N, to 223-203-1821. Next, of course, is the VIP. It's between the Panthers and the Senators here. This one comes in at 77.5% of the time. This click, play, click, Play and pick will be victorious. Uh, this one here, if you want the very best of the best, you got to go to ogcappers.com and you got to go ahead and take our pick selection over there and use the promo code OG20 at checkout. All right. Here we go. Boston Bruins versus the Carolina Hurricanes. We're going to be on the Hurricanes. This one here has that confidence level 62.6% .6 of the time. The money line play at minus 155 with our modeling hits. There we go. Uh, I do have them winning three to two. So that looks like a little bit of a tick to the under as well. The Hurricanes have won each of their last eight home games against the Atlantic Division. And the Bruins now have failed to cover the puck line in each of their last six versus this Metropolitan Division. So like the Hurricanes here. Penguins, Capitals, the pick is going to be Penguins on the money line. Have them actually winning this one by two, four to two. Uh, comes in as a push there on the total. Penguins have covered the puck line in Washington in their last four trips. 
And they're 4-0 and on the money line off of a win there as well. So let's go take the Penguins on the road. Next play here, Islanders. Blue Jackets. We're going to be on the Blue Jackets. On the puck line, we'll take the plus one and a half. 65.4% of the time, this will be the play. I have this one modeled out as a three to three game. So again, sitting almost right there on that six. Uh, Islanders have failed to cover in the last five uh, on the puck line as favorites. The last five in Columbus. Look at them. 12 and six on the puck line off of rest. So let's go with the Jackets. All right, the Blues versus the Predators. You can see I have the Blues winning this one outright four to three, but this one comes up with the highest variance at the puck line. So even though I have the Blues winning, I'm still going to take the Blues here on the puck line plus one and a half, 61.5% of the time that is the play. And my reasoning here for this is that, you know, the Blues, even though they cover the puck line in their last, you know, 10 of 11 games, to have them win this one, it's only 12.5% of the time that my modeling will pick this one as the outright winner. So again, if you tend to lean that or you don't want to lay like the minus 150 or so, then you can go ahead and just take the blues on the money line if you like it, because that's where the modeling goes. It's just not one of those that uh, this play doesn't hit all that often, but all the other key indicators shows the blues winning this one outright. All right. We got the Flames and the Jets. This is kind of going to be the same scenario. Have this one a virtual tie, 3-3, three to three, coming in at 61.6, .6, so a little bit over that last Blues game. Underdogs have covered the puck line in each of their last 11 games at Winnipeg, um, and they've won each of their last five here outright. So this one has a little bit better number uh, for the Flames to actually win this one. It comes in at right at 50%. So again, the play is going to go ahead and be the 61.6% .6 of the time on the puck line. We'll take the Flames. Avalanche and Wild going to go under the total. Uh, have this one as a 3-3. Three to three. Now, modeling, we're doing a lot of averaging, and you don't see like the you know, that it's probably sitting at like, you know, three point or, you know, 2.9 or something like that, uh, 2.8. You know what I mean? So we do a lot of rounding here, but this one here is going to show under with most of the other factors. So we take a look at uh, a lot of things to come up with our modeling. It's kind of pace of play. It's also going to be the rolling five game average is what we look at a lot of the times uh, and also what they've done against each other. But the underdogs here have, uh, well, I shouldn't say that. Each of the Wilds last seven games have gone under the total following a win. So we'll be looking at the under here in this game. And we know the Wild, they always like to come in on the under. Last one here. The Kings, they beat up on my Kraken last night. Uh, now they got the Sharks. Uh, taking the Sharks on the puck line. Have this one also at that virtual tie, three to three. 57.5% of the time the play will be on the Sharks. The Kings have failed to cover the puck line in six of their last seven as favorites following a win. So we're going to go ahead and be on the Sharks here today, folks. I don't mind the Sharks. They like to cover the puck line a lot, uh, even though they're, you know, stinky uh, overall. Uh, but you guys, that's all I got here for you today. Please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe. Click on the bell to get the latest notifications. Also, leave me your comments. I love to see who you guys are on there as well. And I like to read them, and it's always me responding. Uh, so it's been a fun. So I appreciate all of the viewership as well. Make sure you check out Bo's video series on the NBA. Also, we will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.